Hello everyone and welcome to EG Jewel Lapidary. My name is Eli Ganim and today I'm going to show you how to replace a saw blade. Uh, I mean everybody knows how to replace it but the problem is when someone asks I have a problem with the blade I cannot move it I cannot change change it and the knot is too tight to get it out. Well there's a couple of things for that. If you just bought the saw, it's an old one, and it's all rusted, uh, that could create a problem. So what you need to do is use WD-40 and just put it over the nut and the shaft, and that will release it. But the biggest problem is that most people don't realize that there is a left hand and a right hand nut that holds that blade in place. So the question is, how do you know if it is a right hand nut or a left hand nut? So uh, I will show you exactly how to look for that and what the uh, signs that tells you that this is a left hand or a right hand nut. So stick around and I'll be back in a second. This is a grinder that I use for uh, grinding my uh, uh, tools for a wooden, wooden lathe. Um, I, I did take the uh, guards out just to be able to show you what I'm talking about here. So here you got a, a right and a left wheels. So I'm going to show you exactly what each one. So the one here that has a left hand and a right hand uh, nuts. I'm going to show you why they have that. And this way when, when you look at your blade you could tell what direction is going and if it is a left hand or a right hand uh, nut. So let's start with this side here. Now when I grind something and I'm putting my cutter or grinding or pressure. Let's let's put it this way. Uh, I'm putting pressure here, and this is turning in this direction. But the pressure is trying to push it up. So if the pressure is up, I'm trying to get the nut to actually tighten more when all this moves or have pressure going in this direction I want the nut to be more tight and more in this way so therefore this particular nut it's what it's called right hand nut because I turn it to lock I turn it uh, clockwise so this is it's tight this way. In other words that when I put pressure here and this one is turning in this direction all the pressure on the nut and the shaft is going this way so it tighten it more. It's not going to tighten it more but it's not going to release it. So if I go and look at the other side so if I look at the left hand side of my grinder which again if I'm pushing in this direction. So I'm putting pressure this way on the wheel while it's turning. So I need the nut to actually turn counterclockwise. So it turns in this direction to lock it more. So if I want to take this one out, I have to unlock it in the clockwise direction. So if I go like this, hold this, I gotta go in the clock direction, clockwise direction, and it will open so I can get it open. So when this one is turning, now I need to have more pressure this way to lock it in position. If it's the opposite way, what's going to happen is if I have this one 
as a right hand now this is a left hand not if it is a right hand and it's gonna be turned when I put pressure here what's gonna happen is it I'm gonna open this and this is gonna come out so that's the reason you have a left hand and a right hand uh, nut so this here is the way they say right is when you turn to lock it um, in the right hand which is clockwise when it's left nut is when you turn it the opposite way okay which is counterclockwise that's when you lock it okay. so now the reason again when I'm putting pressure here I need to keep also pressure on the nut in the direction of locking it same as the other side so when this one comes down I need to put it this way and that's why when you have both of them are running in the same direction so now I gotta have a left and a right nut to do so okay now let me show you another one in my radial arm saw I'm gonna go to the radial arm saw and I'm gonna show you that okay so this is my radial arm saw I'm gonna take the cover off so I can show you what I'm talking about now the the blade turns in this direction to cut the wood and here it is when I put the piece of wood what happened is is I put pressure on the blade in this direction so when I put pressure on the blade in this direction now I'm trying to get that this blade when the pressure on this direction to put more uh, pressure on the nut to lock it so when it moves like this I want to put more pressure okay so if I'm going to put more pressure in this direction then in order to lock it it's going to be locked like this so this is locking is counterclockwise counterclockwise mean that this nut is left hand right so if I take this one here to open it and I need a wrench here okay so let's say I'm going to open it in order to open it I have to open it would be okay I'm going to open it in this direction so to open is clockwise to lock it it's counterclockwise therefore if we have to lock it counterclockwise that means it's a left hand nut so if I open it okay and now this is loose to tighten it I gotta tighten it into left hand nut and then uh, we'll lock it in position so now when I'm putting pressure cutting the wood the pressure is going this way and it's locking the nut even further so okay so basically everything is very simple once you know how it is if you look at your blade in the saw and you look at the direction of the blade and where the nut is located so if the blade is coming down and you're putting pressure with your uh, stone trying to cut it so putting pressure where you need to lock the knot on the side so have a look at that and can see whether it's this side or the other side and it depends where it's located like if, if the uh, motor and the shaft is coming from this direction or coming from the other direction you will see that there is a left and a right hand uh, nut but now since you know why they're using it and why why do they have a left and a right hand side knot uh, then you'll be able to decide or actually visualize uh, what nut do you have and you just by knowing that you just you know open it in the proper direction is it clockwise or counterclockwise I hope you've liked this video and I hope that will help you and uh, uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to comment and subscribe if you didn't do so yet